Hello everyone, welcome to NG Glasses YouTube channel. In this video lecture, we'll consider to determine whether the given systems represented by the impulse responses are causal and stable. We have considered the first two numericals in the previous video lecture. In this video lecture, let me consider the third numerical wherein the impulse response H of n is equal to 1 divided by 2 to the power minus 1 u of minus n. Is this system causal and stable? Before I proceed uh, uh, testing for uh, causality and stability, the very important thing is uh, first to sketch this signal. It is the multiplication of two signals. One is 1 by 2 to the power minus n here. It is not minus 1, it is minus n. And another signal is u of minus n. So how do I sketch this signal? So let me consider two signals and uh, let me just draw x-axis and y-axis this is the first signal that gets multiplied with the second signal and I'm going to get the answer in the third signal so this is going to be the impulse response this is what I am interested in is this fine yes let me consider let me call this signal as 1 by 2 to the power minus n that is being drawn with respect to the time axis n. This I would call it as the second signal u of minus n that is being drawn with respect to the time axis n and multiplication of that leads to the third signal the impulse response h of n with respect to n. So how does the first signal 1 by 2 to the power minus n looks like? So for that let me consider the time axis n equal to 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. n takes minus values that is minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 and so on. First let me put n equal to 0. If I put uh, n equal to 0 I am going to get 1 because anything to the power 0 is always 1. So here I would indicate this as this signal with the amplitude 1. Is this fine? Similarly I will put n equal to 1. What I am going to get? If I put n equal to 1, I am going to get 1 by 2 to the power minus 1. What is that going to be? It is 1 divided by 1 by 2, which is going to be 2. Is this fine? So amplitude I am going to get here is 2 for the position of n equal to 1. This is very important. This is 2. So similarly, if I put n equal to 2. What I am going to get? I am going to get 1 by 2 to the power minus 2. What is that going to be? It is 1 divided by 1 by 2 square which is 1 by 4 which is equal to 4. 4 goes to the numerator and the answer is 4. So if I have to draw for n equal to 2 I am going to get this as the amplitude as 4. Is this fine? Yes. In this way it continues till plus infinity. And uh, let me put the negative values of n. If I put n equal to minus 1, I'm going to get 1 by 2. Minus of minus 1 is nothing but plus 1. I'm going to get 1 by 2. That is quite simple. So this I am going to call this as 1 divided by 2. Similarly, let me put n equal to minus 2. If I put n equal to minus 2, I'm going to get uh, 1 by 4. Is this fine? So I'm going to get 1 by 4 over here. So let me write that. Similarly in this way it continues till minus infinity. Is this fine? So this is 1 by 2 to the power minus 1. That gets multiplied with u of minus n. How does u of minus n looks like? It is the mirror image of the unit step signal. So it, it is going to look something like this. Is this fine? So this, this is the signal u of minus n. Amplitude remains 1. This is 0 minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 and it goes till plus infinity, uh, minus infinity. And then now the task is I have to multiply these two signals and the resultant signal is going to be something like this that is h of n. Positive side if I consider the multiplication I am not going to get anything over here because uh, from 1 to infinity u of minus n is 0. So though h of n exists that gets multiplied with 0 I am ultimately going to get 0 over here. Is this fine? Yes. So now for 0, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. So those both the signals would get multiply at 0th position 
the amplitude of both the signals are 1 and I am going to get 1 as the output as the output signal at, at the position 0 so this is 1 similarly 1 by 2 into 1 I am going to get 1 by 2 so this I would indicate it as 1 by 2 and uh, 1 gets multiplied with 1 by 4 I am going to get 1 by 4 here right in this way it continues till minus infinity so we have to test this system for causality so let me consider the property of causality is this system causal or not so the condition for a system to be causal it's, is the impulse response its impulse response h of n must be 0 for n less than 0 that means it should not we should not get any sketch at this region as we are getting the sketch the answer is the system is non causal the answer is it is non causal as h of n is not zero for n less than zero the answer is non causal is this a, is this fine similarly let me consider the testing the system for stability for a system to be stable the condition is its impulse response must be absolutely summable that is summation n equal to minus infinity till infinity magnitude of h of n must be less than infinity if this is satisfied the answer is stable so I would consider n equal to minus infinity till 0 why 0 because that is where the signal exists from minus infinity till 0 1 to infinity is 0 so it, it exists in this region it is h of n what is h of n it is 1 by 2 to the power minus n 1 by 2 to the power minus n so just simplify this uh, geometric series if I can simplify and if it is absolutely summable the answer is the system is stable so first let me put uh, put n is equal to minus m so that I want to change all the negative limits to the positive so I'm going to get m equal to infinity to 0 1 by 2 to the power plus m and I know that I can interchange the limits of the geometric series this I can write it as 0 to infinity I can interchange the limits and I'm going to get 1 by 2 to the power m this looks like the standard geometric series summation n equal to 0 to infinity alpha to the power n is nothing but 1 divided by 1 minus alpha this is the standard result making use of that result I can simplify this as 1 divided by 1 minus alpha in place of alpha I have 1 by 2 I'm going to get 1 divided by 1 by 2 therefore the answer is going to be 2 as 2 is less than infinity the answer is going to be the given system is stable is this fine the system is the given impulse response is stable so we have tested this system for causality the answer we got is non-causal and we have also tested this system for stability the answer is stable I hope you people have understood if there are still any doubts please let me know them onto the comment section and I'm happy to answer those doubts meanwhile subscribe to our channel ng classes for more videos till then thank you so much for watching